Honestly, you guys never cease to amaze me with these new names that you guys have created for me in this series. But today we're Funless Con, and I don't know, the, the picture speaks for itself, as you can see. But thanks so much to Javier uh, Sanchez for that one. Uh, it's really, really funny. Uh, I've def definitely got a few on the backlog, because there's definitely a lot of them that I really want to use in the future of this uh, this series. But we're going to be jumping into the next games. We're Platinum 1, Division 1. Uh, this is episode number 16 of the Road to Supersonic Legend, if you haven't been uh, watching. And uh, we're going to keep going. We've basically moved from bronze all the way up to this, and we're going to continue the series until we make it to Supersonic Legend. So lots of content, lots of educational uh, material for you guys to use. And now that we're moving into Platinum, I think this is going to help a lot of you guys, because I've seen a lot of messages about help, help through Platinum and stuff. So let's get into the first games and see how it goes. All right, so we're funless cons. So that means we can't have any fun, right? I'm just kidding. We're gonna have lots of fun. Let's let's get into this and see how uh, the platinum players are. Uh, this is the very bottom level of platinum. Obviously, we're at the just the entrance point, but I'm moving pretty fast already. I'm gonna sit behind uh, Nas Red uh, and see if he makes the challenge. I like that he just backed off. Like he realized the ball was over his head. Maybe he's listening to the series. Um, I'm gonna pop this towards goal. I think uh, it was a good play there. Um, I like that my teammate kind of just rotated behind. Made a shot on target too. Just waiting in mid, just watching the, the play. Some pretty good control from the opponents. I see that I can beat him there by just rotating quickly. You want to make sure you use your, your drift, as we talked about in the earlier episodes of this uh, this series. Using your drift is very, very important. I'm going to let my teammate move up. Okay, he's going to let me go up. And that might be a shot. Yeah, so that was really, really silly of him. I was trying to move behind him, and then he ended up not making a challenge. So he needs to move up. I'm waiting behind for him to challenge after I move back. He should see that when I was moving back out of the corner or into the corner, he could move forward and make a challenge. And in, do in doing so, um, we end up in a situation where we both are on top of each other, even though I'm the one rotating behind. So right here, it's pretty dangerous for me to challenge and move behind. Get some boost. Good challenge for my teammate. Good play. Bit of a miss. Actually kind of works out for them, but that's okay though. We'll move behind my teammate. Uh, who's panicking a little bit, but still lots of lots of space to work with. Oh, that works. Should be open net here. I can get it. So that that worked out pretty well. I mean, my teammate was kind of in an awkward spot. He really should have just left that for me off the wall. I thought he was going to. I'm just kind of used to that rotation. When the ball bounces in mid like that and I've got full boost, I can basically make a play down the field. Um, but it worked out. It's all good. <laughs> Tabby McDabs and Twi uh, Twix Snicks? The names down here are really unique. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really see too much of like this, these kind of names. I mean, our name is Funless Con. <laughs> so I can't really speak too much about that. We got a pretty unique name ourselves. I stay behind this, force a 50 50. Now it'll push to the right side. So I can hold onto my boost in mid and just wait for a play. Uh, Ross Nos, I can't say this guy's name. Ross Nos Redna. It's definitely interesting. Good save from the opponents. Gonna be back out to mid for our teammate though. If my teammate can pop that a little bit higher, it would be definitely better. So when you have a free ball like that on the side, just clearing up the backboard is really, really good like this. Pop it up backboard. Now look how dangerous it is for them. Obviously my teammate didn't get back in time, but uh, popping off the wall like that is not great. As you can see, it gives the ball right back to them. I'm trying not to do too much that I would do at Super Sonic Legend, obviously, but um, I wanna just like, you know, show that you should be pressing on those balls. You might not have the mechanics to make the, the, the perfect touch you want, but that's pretty open. So there we go. Nos Redna helping us out, getting the lead now. Feeling pretty good. Also, I just got a new pair of headphones. Um, I might become an audiophile from these things. <laughs> if you don't know what they are, they're the Bayer Dynamic 19, uh, DT1990 uh, Pro series. And oh my goodness, I this feels so good. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. Great touch by my teammate. Really good shot there, too. That's really good play. That's the kind of thing that you should be uh, working on at this level, too. Um, those quick drifts. Gets a nice beat off the uh, the opponent and then does a drift turn into that shot. You know, go into free play or go into uh, a training pack and just do those over and over again. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Montage play. Oh, wait. He's actually... Oh, okay. So that's not the touch you want. Okay. I really thought... Okay, they, they own gold. That's not even me. That's not even my fault. Um, I really think that, that my teammate should have left this ball. As you can see, it's a free shot for me to come in, and he just dove, dove past the ball. But um, if I had a more free shot, I would have, I wouldn't have, you know, had a double take there. 
Um, I didn't really want to shoot the open net like super, super fast just because we are up three to one. And uh, we do get a forfeit, so there we go. Back onto the headphones. Um, definitely one of the most uh, wonderful purchases I could have <laughs> chosen to have made for for this uh, for the content and stuff. It doesn't really affect you guys, obviously, because I've already got a full quality with a mixer and everything. But uh, this helps me know just exactly what I'm saying and helps me articulate a little bit better because I can hear every single little bit. But we did move up into Division Two. Feeling pretty good about that. Um, hopefully we can move into halfway through Platinum in this series, or this episode. We got Colt on our team. We got El Elec and Saint Zay. They don't know what's coming. They don't know the wrath of Funless Khan. Wow, he just hit that ball when <laughs> he was AFK. Okay, so we're gonna stay with this on the wall. Um, we don't have to like actually pop it out or anything. Um, like I talked about, when the ball is doing small ball in that spot, I'm gonna go up for this because it's free. Um, I won't shoot it on target, but um, it's a good chance. Uh, when, when the ball... Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, when the ball is close to the back wall, um, you don't want to throw the ball out too hard because it'll just give the momentum for the, uh, for the, uh, for the uh, the opponents. It's a good clear. So my teammate is way ahead. I think he overcommitted, but that's good. My teammate wants to take over. That's okay. Once again, we talked about this in like three episodes ago about how um, letting the opponent or the uh, your teammate take over sometimes is okay. As long as you're the bigger person, you just take a rotation around. So a bit of a miss from the uh, the opponent and my teammate. Also, again, just going to be pay, pay, uh, paying attention to their touches. I don't want to overcommit. Right here, you can see this kind of gives the ball back to them, but they also threw it back to my teammate. So a bit of a trade-off. All right, so this should bounce up. That's a pretty dangerous situation, but you can jump up right away for this like this. And uh, go for the aerial right away. Just have the confidence to jump up when you do that rotation. You have time. I think my teammate just missed an open net. So, that <laughs> so that's that's a bit unfortunate. Um, it's okay. We, rec we, we recover from that. No problem. You gotta stay positive. See my teammate comes in. It's a challenge. Really good 50-50. It's really solid. Nice. There we go. Nice shot. He made it. He recovered it. It's all good. He did say sorry, so you know he, he apologized. He he realized it was open. He could have just drove that in. It sometimes you get a little bit over ambitious, and just try to make a heavy touch. And uh, and one v one, that is probably your best way to practice those when you have open nets from your half of the field a lot. Uh, is practice your long long field accuracy. So right here, got a good 50-50. I'll move behind my teammate just because I don't want to ball chase, even though the gameplay is a little bit slower than I'm used to. I'll wait for that 50-50. Still, still lots of time to wait for this. I technically should be beat by that guy, but he's playing really, really slow. So in doing so, it actually makes me overcommit and I push back anyway. So here's a chance. Good 50-50. Once again, those are situations right there where the pressure is already on for the opponents to make a clear. So you don't really need to dive in. And what Colt did there, you don't have to do that because they have to make a move. And that's sort of, um, sort of what you want to do is uh, make sure you don't overcommit um, with a ball that's already threatening for them. Don't ha don't do anything extra that you don't have to do, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to move behind my teammate. Colt has um, some position on the ball. Big high clear. A little bit dangerous. I'm facing backwards, and Zay is in a position where he can... He can basically challenge whenever uh, he wants to. Ooh, great try on the, uh, the aerial there. What I was trying to say is... Because I have to take some extra time to turn around, you have to take that into consideration when you're trying to make a challenge like that. And for me, I I valued uh, rotating back and shadowing over trying to turn and beat the person who's already on the ball. So should I get the boost here? It's okay if they touch that ball because now they're low off kickoff. And even if they jump for this, they're going to be pretty low. Teammate goes to the boost. Right here, you want to take this boost because they're going to take it. I'll just, I'll just float, throw this back down. I'll see what they... This guy can do. It's a good try. It's a good touch. So I threw it back downfield, which gives uh, Saint Zay a possession. You can see every time I hit the ball like that, it's not really good because it just it just uh, kind of gives possession back to them. But when you pop it higher, you can see it goes over the heads of the players, and especially in like lower platinum or mid platinum, um, you can see how that's pretty threatening for them. Let's pop this to the backboard. Oh, it's okay, Colt. You got lots of time. Good control. Good play there, too. So Alec uh, tried to cover for the this teammate. Kind of worked out. 
Good challenge. You can see how every touch that they're making is kind of going to the other player. Every touch that I make, I'm trying to keep it close. That one wasn't the greatest, but it works out. So we make a good clear. We've got 56 seconds left. Let's see if I can just loop this mid. Let's see if he gets ready for it. Nice finish. So in those situations, you can kind of smack it on the bottom half of the ball, and it'll end up rolling it up the wall pretty fast, uh, which can sometimes throw off the opponent like that, trying to go up the backboard. Um, but yeah, we get a pretty good win there. Another forfeit. Um, I'm going to try and slow it down in the next games, just because I think I am doing a little bit too much. I don't think I carried my teammate too much there, though, because he did score most of the goals. I think he... Oh, I did get the MVP, but he did he did score twice or three times, so... Yeah, twice. Brain can't math right now. I didn't realize I had one goal. So let's get into the next one. Hope you guys, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, like I said. Um, I think I'm trying to be at the level that I'm at, but I think I'm trying too hard, and I'm actually overthinking it. So let's just, let's just naturally coast and and help our teammates out. We got Slivero of, wait, Sliver of Stupid. <laughs> nice name. And uh, we got Pook. It's a pretty dangerous ball right here, but he can jump up. A little bit too panicked, but nice save. Um, don't need to take this boost here. My teammate might want it. So pop it forward. Nice little wave dash. Sit behind and wait for wolves. Not too much going on so far. It's a pretty slow game. That extra touch actually kind of gives me a good position. But I see Wolves wants to touch it. So now I can take this around. Take it over here. So he's trying to follow up, but he's... He's trying to catch up, but I'm, I already know that I'm beating him, so I'm just trying to pop the ball around him. Pop this mid. Hook a little bit behind. Playing pretty patient, though. I like it. Can't really see what's happening. I'm just going to pop it off the backboard, wait for them. I don't think I can just posture. Wait for my teammate to want to move forward a little more. He's defaulting the net, which isn't good. He should really be pushing out now. There you go. Good clear. Probably another touch. Once again, being patient and just letting them make touches is a good thing. There you go. Bad touch from them. Teammate could have been mid to follow that, but he ended up uh, ended up trying to challenge the same ball as me. A little bit high, a little bit too far. Teammate's gonna try for it. Um, it was definitely an, there was definitely an angle for that. I think that's like fine to go for. It's just uh, you have to have a little better mechanics to get there. Um, my teammate could have rotated for the boost first, and he would have been here faster, but he ended up making it work anyway. Let's see if my teammate can move in, and there we go. So that was a good play. Uh, he kind of let go of the ball a little bit too early, uh, the opponent. So I knew that I could just shoot that. Um, a bad touch from the opponent there in the corner too. So two bad touches in a row, and you're bound to get an opportunity. There's a good touch. I'll go for the mid boost. Bad touch goes into mid, so now Pook has a free shot. And there you go. Well played. That's kind of the same situation that I had. So once again, I don't think I'm doing too much, uh, even in this game. That's a really bad touch from Sliver. Um, you know, you could say he had a Sliver of... Uh... Never mind. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on. Uh, so I think that was good. I think Pook made a really good opportunity there out of a bad touch from the opponent. And at this level, I think you're going to have a lot of those opportunities where, like, a bad touch opens up some space. As long as you have a presence of mind to sit with the ball and uh, cover that next opportunity. Like, right here. I see that. He actually got a flip reset. Jeez. Sheesh. All right. What's going on here? Okay, nice. I got mid midfield. Uh, but my teammate's nowhere to be seen. He sits a little too far back. That's what I've noticed so far. Is that he, he's, he's sitting as far... Uh, okay. He's sitting really far back. Um, as if like they're gonna boom it all the time, but you need to know when uh, When they can boom it like right here. There's no boom. So that's good It's a good chance So I'm not gonna make that I could obviously make it um, If I was going a little bit faster, but I don't want to move too too fast It's pretty good to be an open shot. There we go. Well played from them. I definitely could have played that a little bit faster, obviously. I'm just... I don't want to do too much. Like, I could have just reacted to that. I saw Pook was right next to me, so I got a little bit spooked. Pook spooked me. We're up We're up a goal still. I'll try to get a good 50-50. I'm just not sure where Pook's going to go. Like I said, I think he's, like, sitting pretty far back a lot. Like, he's in the net right now. Still in the net. Still in the net. So, right here, don't do not do what he's doing. It's... It, you can get easily overwhelmed if you sit in the net like that. Um... If you want to be present with me. So here's he should be moving forward to try and set up the play. So I'm going to roll around the field. And see if he goes in for it. It's a good try. It's worth going for, I would say. 
at least at this rank. It's a little bit more dangerous at a higher level. And I obviously would have made it better if uh, if, it's, if it was a higher level. I would have made a better attempt at getting that mid, but we're in Platinum. Okay, Pook really needs to stop sitting behind like this. He needs to just keep active. You don't want us to be sitting still like that. So don't do what Pook does. Like, once again, he's like sitting super far back. This is a little bit better. So now he's pushing in. Almost a good shot. Oh, I think I stole that. <laughs> yeah, I did. There we go. So I uh, ended up pre flipping and getting a ghost touch. So it technically wasn't me that scored. This is Pook. I just kind of, kind of just, <laughs> I just kind of patted the ball saying, good job, ball. But we're doing well. We're doing well. This is good. I think my teammates uh, just needs to be a little bit less passive. Good 50 50. I really should be taking this this corner boost. I just want to move too quickly and overwhelm them. Wait for the opponent. So they both miss. Pop it up. See if Pook wants to finish it. Good try. I, I respect the passes. So we get a decent 50 50 in the mid here. Doesn't look like the uh, the opponents are coordinated. That's a good play around. So now I'm going to loop behind my teammate. I ended up cutting this off right here in mid instead of going all the way back because I could see that my teammate was going to make a bad touch. If I went right to net, it would have given the opponents a better chance to uh, make a play down the field. Or a shot on net even. Uh, let's see what we got here. So I'm last. I'm going to wait for Pook. He might try to turn on that. That's fine. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I left the boost for him. I got 100 boost. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I really probably should have saved that. It was a good shot. That one guy seems to be pretty good with his mechanics. With like his uh, flip resets. Move behind. See what uh, Pook's got. Decent hit. It does go back to the opponents though. If you want to make an aerial like that, you need to make sure that you hit it up high. Make sure it doesn't fall down. So you gotta get used to watching the bottom of the ball. And making a better aerial touch. This guy's pretty good at aerial mechanics. There we go. Pook, close. Oh, it could be in. Oh, so close. <laughs> it was pretty good, though. My teammate actually played pretty well, other than the fact that he was just super far behind. And, uh, I mean, that is very common at this rank, that there are players who just sit way too far behind. You need to know where the, the play is and when you should be present. If you don't have any boost, obviously you want to collect pads in a position where you can help out your team later. But if you have boost and you're just kind of sitting in the net, you're not being, any, any, uh, you're not being of any value to your team. I right, got Regent Glue against Quirty and Brown Cheese. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, what's he got? Bit of a early play there, no kickoff. So looks like Brown Cheese just got back. Let's sit behind here. So my teammate's sitting under the ball. I can't go until he moves away. I need to make sure that you like. I talked about this in the last episode, I think, um, an episode or two ago, I believe, where you want to have good body language to show your solo queue teammate what your intentions are. Sometimes, um, sometimes uh, it, it it's easier to know what's going on in comms. And if you're in a solo queue situation and you are like, oh, why is my teammate going? But then you're just sitting under the ball like this. Like if I just do this and I don't go, like it's impossible for my teammate to know. Also, he's super far away. So there was so much boost for him to grab, but he decided to grab the, the back corner. That's something that you don't want to do. You want to hold this pressure. Okay, that's fine. I'll let him touch this because I was caught off guard from that miss. So I want to cut my loss and just kind of move behind. There we go. It's an early touch from Brown Cheese. Going to stay with it. 50-50. I like these high touches. It makes them under pressure a little bit. Pop a backboard. See if my teammate can come in. Great finish. So nice shot. So there I just try to uh, pop it off that corner. So when I see it's like right here, I can hit it up pretty hard with a side flip. And uh, I'm aiming for that bottom edge of the ball. I know it's a, a sphere, so there's not really an edge, but you know what I mean. Like basically the bottom 45 degree angle and uh, that makes it so it uh, pops up a lot higher. And that makes it a lot more dangerous. My teammate's pretty good at these high pops though. So maybe following uh, the footsteps of this series where he's just uh, placing the ball in a spot where it's really awkward for the opponents. And that'll help you rank up. Good pl uh, positioning for McCourty. Here, I'm going to show my body language that I'm flipping behind. And that way my teammate moves up. Really good play. Really good shot. So he's saying okay, but... I don't know, that wasn't that much. He was He's moving pretty fast, and he has been playing since 2016. So maybe he's just a, a hard-stuck platinum. You know, he's just 
He's one of those uh, supersonic legends stuck in platinum. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Alright, so brown cheese is already done. And honestly, he's probably frustrated at Regent over me, to be honest, in this situation. It's a great play. So that's not a good touch for me to make, because you can see it bounces back into midfield. And my teammate was already on their side. So let's see what he's got here. A little panicky. Teammate overcommitted a little bit, but obviously I could have had a better 50-50. Oh, he missed. Okay, I'll take it from my teammate here. It's okay. Ouch. Ah. So I'm moving behind. I'm moving a little bit too fast. I gotta, I gotta chill out. Let my teammate move up. It's a good chip hard mid. That was a really good shot opportunity. If he shot that, I probably wouldn't have been ready. Um, because I wanted to be uh, attacking that a lot earlier. My teammate wasn't attacking it. I'll try and pass this to my teammate. Close. It's a good play. It's a little bit dangerous. The teammate might be caught in a situation. Really good 50-50 though. Let's see if Region Glue can follow it up. So it goes downfield, but Oh, I thought he was gonna own goal. <laughs> nice little touch off the corner. Once again, it's pretty dangerous for him to go for, but he did go for it. It can pay off. It depends on how much risk you want to pl uh, play in your game. Right now, I would say it's not like super worth the risk. Oh wow, that worked out really well. <laughs> um, we're up two goals, so I don't see the risk being super necessary. Good play across. See if uh, my teammate wants to move up and make a challenge. It's a really good 50 50. I'll miss this just because why not? <laughs> we already have two goals, so make a, make an attempt at it. Further uh, hiding our incognito uh, true name here. All right, so we got some room in the corner. Right here, I'm going to use a little bit of boost to grab the boost in the corner. Make a 50 50. Make another 50 50. A little miss. It's a good aerial for him. I need to move behind my teammate once again. Show that. Show my teammate uh, how to move out. Like that, I want to move out, and where I want to go on the field. Right here, Cordy's got in the corner. I don't really want to challenge or make any pressure. They're gonna pressure themselves, and a great 50-50 right in the net. And Brown Cheese is not happy with that. And uh, our teammate is really popping off, to be honest with you. So we're looking pretty good. I don't feel like we did too much this game, but my teammates looking good as well. So, uh, once again, just another clean win here. We got 34 seconds left. Obviously, it's not over, but I think I'm pretty, pretty convinced that even if we didn't do anything, our teammates got it, got the fort down. He's pretty, he's pretty good here, and he's not doing anything too crazy even at this rank. So he's just trying to make uh, solid touches, solid clears. That's a really good flick. Great finish there. So. Great reaction uh, to my challenge there. He could have uh, he could have held on to that a little bit longer. Uh, usually, people at my rank they know that I would I could just challenge that and it'd be really dangerous. But he popped it up really early. It worked out. So there's still 19 seconds left, but I still think we're okay. Or do I throw for content? Nah, we're good. We're good. We're, we got we want to make sure we get to Super Sonic Legend in this series. Uh, if you guys were any, uh, followed my uh, challenge to Grand Champion series with Rapid last season, uh, you'll know. <laughs> That we ended up getting stuck in gold, so not not because uh, we never actually won our challenges. It's just that the season ran out and uh, <laughs> we took forever. So we want to move up in this this a little bit faster. We're already on episode 16, so we got a lot more to go to climb. So I'm I'm expecting this to be around a 40 episode series, but a lot of, a lot of content, a lot of educational uh, material, like I said, for you guys, and hopefully it's helping you rank up. I've seen a lot of comments, and I like to see it. Uh, that people are moving up from gold to, to platinum already from these this series episodes and uh it's helping them so hopefully it helps you in some way even if you're a higher rank or a lower rank um especially a lower rank but there we go i should close this, this game out i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um definitely uh definitely an interesting name no one really commented on it we'll do a finished shot here just to get the goal but yeah that was a that was a fun that was a fun episode i think a lot of uh, a lot of educational material compared to the last episode but uh, until next time, have a great day. We'll catch you guys in the next one.